Hi, my name is Catherine Guillory and I'm a senior at the University of Louisiana at Lafayette. Today I'm going to be teaching these young ladies how to uh, do some basic ball handling and dribbling. Alright, everybody grab a ball. First thing we're going to work on is stationary high knees over the ball. This is how you do it. Make sure you're getting your knees high up over the ball. Um, you can do that for about 20 seconds, starting now. Alright, the next thing that we are going to be working on is basic passing. Um, for this drill, Amy right here is going to pass the ball to Shelby. You're going to take one touch and lightly pass the ball back. For example, Shelby's going to pass the ball to me. You want to be on your toes whenever you see the ball, lightly touch it and pass it back and draw it to the other line. We'll do that a couple of times and then we'll back it up. Go. Nice and easy. Alright, the next thing that we're going to be working on is circle passing. The person in the middle is going to receive the ball and pass it back to the next person. When you're in the middle of the circle, you want to make sure you're staying on your toes and receive each pass as well as you can and get it back to the next person. Whenever I call out your name, that means you're going to jump into the drill to just switch out with the person that you went in for. Alright, let's go. Notice how Shelby is using both the inside of her foot and the outside of her foot. In the game, you are going to use both. So in drills like this, it's good and beneficial to you to use both of them. All right, the next thing that we are going to work on is basic dribbling. When you're dribbling the ball, you want to keep the ball as close to you as possible. So first, going this way, I'm going to demonstrate how to dribble with the inside of your foot. When you're dribbling with the inside of your foot, you want to make sure that it's hitting the inside right here. You want to touch the ball lightly and jog. Whenever they get down there, they're going to turn around and go with the outside of their foot. For the outside, you're going to be pushing the ball like this. So when I say go, everybody's going to go down there using the inside of your foot. Whenever you're coming back, make sure you're using the outside. Keep 
close, keep it close. Alright, good job. Alright, the next thing that we are going to work on is heading. <laughs> For this drill, this side of the line is going to have the ball. All you're going to do is toss the ball to your partner and you'll head it back. When doing this drill, you want to make sure you're hitting the ball with your forehead. You don't want to hit it at the top of your head. If so, it's going to do what it just did and go straight up in the air. Whenever you head the ball, you want to make sure it's going forward, not up. So we're going to do about five. I'll let y'all know when to switch and then this line will do it. Y'all can start. Whenever you're going to head the ball, you can use your arms to show what direction you want to go. But if you got you don't have to put your arms behind your back. I, <laughs> last time I was wobbling. Alright, stop! You threw it right on my forehead the first time. Oh. Alright, y'all get switched for the launch. Let's go, start. That's exactly what you don't want to do. Alright, make sure the ball is going out, not up. That's better. Good job, Amy. Good job, Sarah. Yeah. Alright, the next drill we are going to work on is called the shadow drill. <clears throat> For this drill, both players are going to benefit from it. The person that has the ball is going to be dribbling. Um, the person that's on defense is working on giving them their space. This drill is important in particular because when you're on defense, you never want to run past the player. Okay, you never want to go and stab it. <clears throat> what you want to do is break down, give the offensive person their space, and drop back <clears throat> and shuffle. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, for this drill, you don't want to take the ball away from the player. All you want to do is make sure you're giving them their space. And like I said, they're going to be working on their dribbling. You're working on the defensive skills, but you're not going to take the ball away. So once you go to that cone, turn around, switch, come back. And wait till everybody gets down there before y'all come back. I'll let y'all know when y'all can come back. So everybody can start. Not fast, slow it down, slow it down. All right, y'all can come back. Slow it down, slow it down. It's not a race. All right, for this next drill, walk with me. We're going to be doing a two-on-one. We have two offensive players with one defensive player. The key for the offensive players is to make passes for the defensive player, which is Laney, she's trying to steal the ball. The first pass is free. We're going to go for a couple minutes and then we'll stop. Make sure that you're using all of the grid because it is to your advantage. Let's go. Y'all stick with it, stick with it. Good job. All right, that was a great example of how a defensive player would take the ball away from the ball. Good job. You're not going stabbing. 